tap, tap, tap. We're good? Excellent. Here is a prime corner for development in Chelsea. You see, Chelsea, this used to be a freaking big ass parking lot. And on the top of Gristidi's, the grocery store, we have like eight tennis courts. Guarantee that once the lease is up on Gristidi's and Midtown Tennis, this place is going down. <laughs> As you guys are watching this, it is about the first week in June for the first ever Ted Jones comedy show that I put together was at Asylum over here. I went to the guy who runs Asylum and I was like, look, let me put together a comedy show. About 60 people showed up and it was an amazing first show. And I'll say that I thought every single show was gonna go like that, okay? So I was expecting 60 plus people at every single Ted Jones comedy show. The next Ted Jones comedy show we did on June 21st, about like 45 people showed up, we sold out the place. So I was super fired up about that and I was thinking, this is how comedy's gonna go. This is the trajectory. As the cameraman's looking at me like, wow, Ted, that's pretty impressive for your first two shows. And guess what? The third show, we did even better. The beginning of July of 2021, I was like, wow, this is amazing. I just retired from my dad's company. This is what I wanna do full time. This journey so far has been amazing. Have I gotten down on myself? Have I gotten upset this past year? Of course. What do you think about hosting and putting together comedy shows? It seems like everything is super easy. There are actually some shows where I've been like negative $50 in the red. So where I've been having to pay comics, paying photographers, it's not always the glam and glitz. Now I'm not saying when you watch this vlog, you're like, oh, Ted's got the glam and glitz so far, guys. We're sitting in the freaking rain at a coffee shop. Hello, this lovely lady right here. The amount of comics that have done my show, I'd say over like 150, seriously. Because every single show we have a different lineup. I think we have to get you an umbrella just for your head so you don't have to carry it. Over here is where I'm talking about, Asylum NYC. That was where we had the first Ted Jones comedy show and many more, many more Ted Jones comedy shows to come. So you guys saw my weed dealer passed by on a scooter and I like almost knocked him over with my shoulder. He told me that he's opening up a spot on 30th and 8th, so hopefully we can get a tour. I don't know if it's like legal to go into weed stores and take a tour, but we're gonna try anyway. If I were to ride a city bike, I mean, I would have my helmet on the entire time. I don't know about you. Do you guys ride city bike? <laughs> Cause I'm out here vlogging. There it is, cannabis culture. There's no way you're gonna be allowed in there to film, but hey, we're gonna try. I have a video guy with me, is that cool? Yeah, no problem. Thank you, bro. So, look at this. Cannabis culture, the plug, what's up, dude? This is dope, when are you guys opening? Uh, it's like a shop slash dispensary. No, I know, when, when? Oh, when? Uh, like, next week. Next week? Yeah. All right, this is gonna be the new hot spot. 31st and 8th, the plug. What's your name, bro? Uh, Ali. Ted, Ted. When is Alex coming back to the um, other store? He's still in Yemen, right? Yeah, he's still in Yemen, right. Yeah. It was 95 degrees yesterday. Right now it is 65 degrees. What can I do for you, Schuster? Okay. The point that I... <laughs> These fucking metal chairs, dude. I just sliced my... That's what I'm trying to do. You know, do dumb yet intelligent things that, you know, give yourself a career. Like Happy Gilmore? Like that's genius. Who lines up with the ball, takes three steps? and just pounds it. That's smart. You listen to weird music, man. Three contiguous shots. Growing up, I would just watch like a lot of after school stuff. And then also before school, I'd watch like Saved by the Bell. And then when I got home, it'd be like Drake and Josh. By the way, Josh Peck, we saw on the flight. It didn't make the vlog, but we saw Josh Peck on the flight to LA. Super nice, dude. And like now he's the cool guy at a Drake and Josh, okay? Sorry Drake, but Josh is the cool guy there. I actually want to go get some weed from that deli, so just give me one second. <laughs> that literally took one minute. I went in there, the guy was like, I've been watching your YouTube. Some of the sound audio levels, I was like, fuck, I know, we gotta fix it. He was talking about like the microphone when I do it too close to the mouth. And he was like, but you're good on there, man, I like it. I was like, all we need to do is get everybody in the rest of the world to start watching Ted Jones' vlog. Ted Jones World Podcast. What's up, Ivan? You're on the freaking vlog, dude. Ivan's on the vlog. Eden, this is my guy right here. You're on the vlog. I made it. Let's go. Here we had New York Sports Club and under it we had an enormous CVS. So I think this is kind of what we're looking at. A massive development go right up here and it's probably gonna shoot up like 20 stories. That's what I see for the corner of like 23rd Street, 24th Street. Is this stable enough? Yeah, it's stable enough, I'm good. 
I'm good. I'm good. No, I'm good. I'm good. Ah! I got young bones, kid. This is also kind of like slim and dangerous. That's how I like my women. We can see. Come through here. See this development action? Oh my God! Look how deep they've gone. Yeah, boy. One of the busiest intersections in Manhattan here, 23rd Street, 8th Avenue. We got a Dallas BBQ over here. Fly, fly. I've been there. It's not that good. I like that do rag. Fresh. I just look like a normal person, right? <laughs> oh, I'm in the middle of a group project. Yes. Where did you guys come from? Amazing. Dallas BBQ. This is known as one of the most unhealthiest restaurants in the city. But if you come here, you get some mixed drinks with some freaking freezy freezes. What's going on, bro? Ted Jones, what's up? What's, Yo, your, what's, what's up? your name? My name, Joel. Joel, what's your name? Jason. What are you guys doing here? Just hanging? We just, just hanging, chilling. Man. We just chilling. You, we you just, just bump each other. Yeah? Yeah. yeah? You guys work together or no? Nah, nah we, we grew up. up. <laughs> Where? Oh, uh, Brooklyn. Brooklyn. This is a beautiful thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Random? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Duh, where in Brooklyn are you guys from? Flatbush. Flatbush? Flatbush? Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. by A train, C train? Um, uh, two. two. Two? Yeah. All right, cool. This is amazing. We're, when's the last time you guys saw each other? This is a real life friendship. <laughs> when's the last time you guys saw each other? A couple of years. All right, don't. I don't want to. I don't want to intrude too much. But you guys check out Ted Jones World. All right. Ted Jones. All right, bro. All right, you guys are good. All right, be good. Peace, bros. All right. That's amazing, man. You run into your friends that you haven't seen in like two and a half years, and then you see him on the street. Wow. <laughs> Dude, we just can we just hack into this box. I don't walk! I don't walk for hours! Beep beep! Lost key. You get your tonsils taken out? No. I think you only need to get your tonsils taken out if you have an infection. Like besides that, they want to keep the tonsils in. Which I understand, but like why do we even need tonsils? They keep the bacteria from going in your throat. Oh. That was so dumb, dude. Who knew that when you pee in pools, there's not actually red stuff? I thought there was red stuff. When you pee in pools, it just goes all red. Did you not think that? Like you pee and then just die would be all around you. But that's not the case, apparently. 